Okay, so uh, what we have here is uh, three windows uh, onto uh, three different Pi boards. Uh, this first Pi board uh, command line uh, is our system that's going to suffer priority inversion. The second window is a Pi board that's going to be generating background traffic. And the third window is a third Pi board that will generate trigger frames that sets the whole uh, demonstration off. Before we start, we need to define a couple of uh, functions in MicroPython. Uh, this first one here is to trigger uh, actions when we see a can frame. So we get stuck in a little loop here uh, until we see a frame 777 come through, and then we drop out of this function, and uh, we can use this in our test scripts. Uh, now, in order to show priority inversion, we have to actually build our own little uh, FIFO transmit uh, function. And the reason is the send frame uh, feature here is uh, uh, on the firmware in these Pi boards uh, is actually my drivers for the CAN, uh, the BX CAN CAN controller on the uh, STM32. Uh, and that uses uh, a priority queuing system that's priority inversion free. So in order to suffer priority inversion, we have to wrap our own FIFO uh, around that. And that's why we have uh, this little test here so that uh, basically this 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 blocks until there are no frames in the priority queue, and then it puts a frame in to the priority queue, which goes through to the CAN drivers. Uh, there are 32 slots in the uh, in the priority queue. That's why it's 32. Okay, we've got some uh, frames predefined here. Uh, frame one two three is uh, CAN ID one two three with a payload of dead beef, and this is going to be our high priority frame that's going to suffer priority inversion, and then frame uh, 700 is a low priority frame with can ID 700 uh, with a payload of cafe food and that's going to be the the frame that causes uh, the priority inversion to happen okay so here we've got uh, a load of background traffic uh, frame 0 uh, through to F here so they start at uh, 6 F8 which is higher than the uh, frame uh, that's going to cause the priority inversion and it goes through to uh, lower priority frames and we see that uh, 6FF is the last frame that's going to uh, delay this one and then 701 is some more background so we can see the uh, the ordering come out here now we also have uh, some trigger frames here on our uh, trigger board so 777 is the uh, uh, the trigger. We also add another frame here, a very high priority, priority one, uh, and that's in order to, to to give time for the Python code to to run and then queue the frames. So everything is synchronized to the uh, arbitration that starts at the end of uh, this high priority frame. So let's just see the uh, wait uh, function working. So we've held these two pi boards in the wait, and we're going to send the two trigger frames. And here we go over here, out come the trigger frames, and we can see the wait functions have returned. So that's all working fine. So let's set this up. First of all, we wait for the trigger, and then we transmit. We will transmit in FIFO order frame 700 and then frame 123. And 123 is our high priority frame that's going to be delayed. So over here we wait for the trigger and then this is all our background frames that are going to be causing the delays. So once we've set the trigger and fired it, here we go. Here's the trigger frames. And now we see we should have had the high, if there was no priority inversion, the highest priority frame would have gone out at our frame one, two, three, but it hasn't. What's happened is all these frames have gone out until 6FF, and then after 6FF, out comes frame 700. That's come off the front of the FIFO queue. Uh, and then we find that frame 701 has come out next. And the reason for that is that it takes a little bit of time for the Python code to run and call the driver up to queue the high priority frame. And in that time, the uh, arbitration has started again 
and frame 701 was the highest priority frame on the bus. So we've let go of the bus for a little bit. And then after that frame is gone, 123 comes out because the Python code had finished queuing it by then. So we have this little strange gap. And then we have that. So all of these frames, down to 123 here, all of this is priority inversion. And that's quite a long delay uh, for the, that can frame at the bottom, the high priority one to come out when it should have come out first. Uh, and it could be arbitrarily long if there's a peak load on the bus and lots and lots of frames are, uh, are going uh, that are higher than the, the frame at the front of the FIFO. The high priority frame at the back of the FIFO will be delayed for a very long time. Now we can uh, take a quick look at what happens when we change from FIFO to priority queuing again. Uh, so here we've changed the, the FIFO function into the built-in uh, CAN driver uh, in the BX CAN CAN controller driver, uh, which runs things out in priority order. So we'll send the frames in, in the same order, but they'll be queued by the driver in priority order. So let's see what happens when we run the same trigger. Right, so here's the uh, 777 trigger and the delaying frame. And look, the very next frame out is frame 123. And this is uh, exactly as it should be. Uh, and then all the uh, frames that delay that, uh, that frame 700 come out, then frame 700, and then all of the next frames. So this is uh, priority queuing now is exactly what we want to see. The trigger and then the highest priority frame comes. That's how we fix priority inversion.